Hey everyone, thanks for watching again. I'm gonna begin with prepping my mom's skin with a Dior Dream Skin Capture Total. I think that's how you say it. Um, this is a age-defying skincare. This will help smooth out her skin, make it look perfect. Um, it also will prep her skin to receive the makeup. And I really like this. I like the way it feels on her skin. I like the way it looks on her skin. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead with my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. This is, oh my god, bomb.com. So anybody can use this. This will minimize the appearance of any pores, fine lines. Um, it won't break you out or anything like that. And you can automatically see on the screen how this is smoothing out her skin. Now for the eyes, I'm using the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eyeshadow Primer to help make those shadows last longer and make them pop a little bit more too. I'm going to go ahead and use the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. I know a lot of people have this, so that's why I chose it because I want you guys to be able to use things that you probably have at home. And my mom asked me to use light colors, nothing too brown on her. So I'm going in with the color Limit, which is a transition color that I'm going to use as a nice soft uh, like a pinky mauve color and I'm gonna put that in her crease and the brush I'm using is a Morphe M505 blending brush I really really like this one it's really nice and fluffy and here I'm just going back in to my palette with the same color limit with the same brush I'm using that to just add a little bit more color to warm up the crease now for the lids I'm gonna be using the Sephora brush it's called all over shadow brush and I'm using the color burnout from the naked 3 palette and the reason why I'm using this brush is because my mom's lids are a little bit bigger and wider so I'm using a wider brush that's gonna be a little bit faster and easier to apply the shadow and I'm using a pressing technique because I want to build the pigment I don't really want to sweep it I want to blend it out so I'm pressing on building on pigment Now with that same Morphe brush, the M505, the blending brush that we used before for the transition color, I'm going back in again just to help blend the two colors together so it can look nice and blended. And I'm just putting on a little bit more color just to illuminate that area a little bit more. I wanted to add a little bit of more warmth onto the shadow color, so I grabbed the color Nooner from Naked 3 palette and I'm applying it on her outer V and in her crease a little bit just to define the crease a little bit more to make the look look a little warmer but nothing so drastic because she did say she wanted a very natural look and that's what I'm giving her. And I'm using the same brush, the same Morphe brush because um, it's not like crazy different colors that I'm applying onto her lid. They kind of all mix together. So I'm going from light to dark if you can notice. I wanted to highlight her lids a little bit more, her inner corners of her eyes too. And I grabbed the color Dust and I'm using that same shadow brush and I'm just applying it on the inner corner of her lid and a little bit towards the center of the lid too because I want to give it a little bit more dimension. I always try to tell everyone that for a more natural look, you want to use a brown liner. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm using a Sephora waterproof liner in the color brown. I'm applying it onto her lash line. I'm tight lining. And I'm not trying to make the perfect line either because I have my Morphe angled brush right there. And I'm going to use that to smooth it out and bring the color out a little bit too. And you'll see in a sec what I'm doing. This 
technique will help you get that smooth perfect crisp line and for the liner for my mom I actually made it a little bit thicker because her eyes are a little bit bigger as I mentioned before and I kind of wanted to make it look more even versus if it was too thin then it wouldn't look like there's anything there but if your eyelids are a little bit smaller than my mom's like mine I would just say tight line very very tight to your lash line and don't make your liner as thick so you can have more shadow space As I was doing this, I was explaining to my mom that the reason why I make the liner a little bit thicker on the end is because I want to give her eye a little bit of a lift. So when you give the eye a little, bit, a little bit of a lift, you're giving the face a lift too. So that I'm explaining here and you can see it. I'm using my RCMA um, VK number 10 palette. This is a foundation palette. If you're a makeup artist and you're watching this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but just use your regular foundation. I like this foundation because one, it's in my kit. Two, it gives her a nice flawless like second skin look. And my mom doesn't like that much makeup. So we're going for a very natural look again. <laughs> And the brush that I'm using is my MAC 190 brush. It's a flat foundation brush. This brush is meant more for like um, like sheer to medium coverages. For people that don't really have that much texture on their skin. Um, this brush just applies nice and flawless. But it only gives sheer to medium coverage. Um, for more textured skin, I would use a more dense brush. A fluffier, thicker brush. Not this one. So as a makeup artist, I would recommend for you to get a brush that's good for your skin. I'm going to use my LA Girl Orange Corrector for under the eyes to help color block any darkness and I'm using my Morphe brush E10 to apply and then I'm gonna go on with my beauty blender and just blend it out but what I realized like while I was doing that was that I wanted to use my fingers and it actually blended out better so I ended up using my fingers and just blending out all of that orange color just so I can prepare it for the next color that I'm gonna put on So with color correctors, you want to layer them. So I applied my foundation base to give me a little bit of coverage, then I put the color corrector to color block any darkness, and now I'm applying more of that foundation to cover up the orange, but still give it that brightness. I didn't really want to do a highlight color on my mom, just because she does, like again, it's natural makeup. And I don't think she really needed that highlight under the eye. I. That was my personal opinion and some people like it some people don't and I didn't think my mom would so I wanted to just keep it very natural and simple for her also my mom has high cheekbones already so by highlighting under the eye it's gonna bring it up even more and that would have been a big big no-no it would basically make her jawline look thinner and her jawline is already fine being that her cheekbones are higher now I'm going in with a contour color. This is a contour color from one of the palettes that I have. And but you can use a like a neutral tone. Like you see how nice and gray toned or neutral tone that color is. That's a color you really want to use to contour because anything that's too orange will show on your skin. And again, we're going for a natural look here. And I'm only going on her hairline and her cheekbones, the hollows of her cheeks. Because like I mentioned again, her jawline is already fine and by putting contour colors on that she's gonna be extra 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 fine on her jawline and she's gonna be really upset that's one thing she mentioned to me that she didn't want to have her jawline extra thin or too um too narrow so we're just focusing it on her hollows of the hollows of her cheeks and her hairline to give her some warmth I 
I chose the Laura Geller the sculpting highlights bronzer um, trio because I felt like this was gonna give my mom a nice glow and a nice bronze all together so I'm using my Sephora number 59 brush and just applying some like a three motion hairline jawline and cheeks just to give her nice warmth so nothing too crazy for her and now I'm using my morphe palette my blush palette this color was like a very nice soft pink on her cheekbones and I just added a touch of pink towards the end of the video I noticed that she needed a little bit more blush so I at the end you'll see me apply a little bit more and my mom always likes to have a nice glow so I put the Laura Geller the Gilded Honey highlighter on her cheekbones I'm gonna put it on her cupid's bow to make her nose look a little bit more lifted there's a cupid's bow I meant tip of the nose and the cupid's bow to make her lips fuller and I also put them on top of her um, of her brows because that also gives a nice lift my mom doesn't like her brows defined too much, so I went very lightly with my Dior Universal Brow Retractable Pencil and just very gently filled in any areas that I feel like she needed a little bit more filling, but nothing too crazy. For her lipstick, I used MAC Lipstick in the color Modesty and for her lip gloss, the color Venus from MAC as well. Um, this I chose because it matches the eyeshadow, it matches the look. I was going for a more mauve natural, pinky tone look, and I feel like this was perfect for it. And if you're a makeup artist and you're watching, this lip color is actually really pretty on most complexions, and it's really, really pretty for weddings. This look is actually really pretty for weddings, and it is wedding season, so... <laughs> My mom wanted me to use her own mascara because she really, really likes this one. That's the Maybelline, the Mega, the Mega Volume. Is it? No, Mega Plush. There you go. mommy she was so cute <laughs> so this comes to the end of my video and I just wanted to say thank you so much everyone that watched my first video everyone that liked it subscribed I really appreciate it I love the support and thank you for all the feedback too so if you have any questions comment down below please 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 don't forget to subscribe please like and add me on Instagram add me on snapchat I like to post videos or tutorials on snapchat so look forward to those thank you for watching again